and welcome to Augusta Outdoors. My name is Mark Alberton. Today we're out in Mayfield, Georgia. Mayfield's a small little town a lot of people don't know about. Well, that's because it's a very small little community. And we're here right along the Ogeechee River with Missy Garner. She owns the property out here on what was Reynolds Plantation. Missy, thank you for being here today. Thank with you us. for coming. I appreciate you coming out. Well, we're happy to be here. So tell me a little bit about this land here. When did you move here and, and what brought you to this beautiful area? Well, we moved here about eight years ago from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, we found this in the newspaper. It was timberland and cattle property. And the mill was a bonus. We didn't know about the mill when we first came up and looked at it. And we fell in love with it. And we sold our farm in Florida and we relocated up here. And we started working on the mill, doing some restoration work to it. We put a new roof on it. We started cleaning the grounds up and kind of tried to make it like a park-like setting. And we've, we've done a lot of work inside the mill, restoring all the old equipment and all. And you know, the thing that I love is the fact that you're right here on the Ogeechee River. Uh, the Ogeechee, uh, a lot of people don't know that much about it. The Ogeechee, we're really only about an hour west of Augusta. But the Ogeechee's origins start just upstream here. Um, about what you say, about five miles? Uh, yeah, about five miles is where, they, where the springs come up out of the ground and start. And, and it flows along, and it's, if you've never canoed or kayaked down the Ogeechee, you're missing out because it's a gorgeous river. Talk to me a little bit about, I know we're going to take a tour and a little bit of the inside of the mill, but talk to me a little bit about the process of grinding corn at the grist mill. Years ago, the farmers used to bring their corn out. Their, the ended, individual families would come out with their corn and they would have it ground. And the person that ran the mill was the miller and he didn't charge for this, but he got a toll, which was a percentage of how much corn that he ground for you. And that is what stayed inside the machine. And then when he got through grinding your corn, he would open the machine, clean it all out, and that's what he got paid for grinding your corn. Now we bring our corn in out of Kentucky. It's white corn. We only use white corn. And we usually bring it in about 1,000 to 1,500 pounds at a time. And we carry it upstairs, and we start the process with putting it in a machine that cleans it. And then it cracks it down. It doesn't grind it. It breaks it down and then it goes into a storage tank. From there, it goes to the stones where it's ground. Then it goes through a sifter that separates the chafe from the corn itself. And then it goes into a scale. From the scale, it goes into a mixer. That's where we would add, if we're making self-rising flour, we add our ingredients to it. It mixes, all this is run off of the river. It mixes and then it is blown up into a machine upstairs and it drops it back down to the first floor into a bagging machine. So the corn travels quite a bit as it's going through the process of being ground. And then we bag it up, we weigh it and bag it and put it in a container and we take it to the grocery store. So We also have a lot of ledgers that we found in the building in the old country store and they date back to 1891 and they're the day-to-day -day sales of the grist mill, the cotton mill, the country store and it has the family's names in there and what they purchased and when we have events out here and people come out and they see these ledgers they're amazed that their grandparents and great-grandparents are in these ledgers and they can, they can see what they bought on a certain day or how much cotton they sold or how much it was being sold for and they're, they're really neat to look through because if you look back and you say, wow, a pair of shoes was 10 cents, and now a pair of shoes cost you 70, 80, 100 dollars or more. <laughs> Very but, true. Uh, There's an event coming up uh, next weekend that I'd like you, if you would, please tell us about. October the 26th, we're having a river fest out here and we're trying to have a festival and raise funds to paint the mill. There's some woodwork that needs to be done on the mill and it needs a good coat of paint. And we're inviting the public to come out. We're gonna be grinding corn that day. We're gonna be letting people bag their own bags of cornmeal. We're gonna be having hot dogs. We have some uh, a print of the mill that was done by Neil Blackwell. He's a wildlife artist out of Canada. We're raffling that off. And we're also raffling a deer hunt on the property, a turkey hunt, and a family fishing day. So those winners would be allowed to come back and fish or hunt on the property at a later date. So. That's phenomenal. 
Well, I want to thank you so much for spending the time talking with us today and letting me take a tour of this place. It has been fantastic, and I know our viewers are enjoying this too. Thank you so much, Missy. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, and I hope y'all will come out and join us the 26th from 9 to 5. We're going to have a lot of fun. Sit in a rocking chair and relax. We'll be here. If you like what you see, please subscribe to us on our YouTube channel at Augusta Outdoors. Weekly, we'll have a new outdoor segment, and you'll be the first to know. Thanks for watching.